up, doll collectors? Hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. In a recent video, we turned a Barbie playset into a mini brand store slash restaurant inspired by Cinnabon, allowing us to display our mini brands and use them with our dolls. I ordered the new KFC mini brands from Amazon. They were $7.99 each and they just arrived. Oh my goodness, new mini brands. I know what we're doing today. Open and mini brands. Oh wait, we should probably talk about the capsule. It looks red, but it's still a white capsule. It says mini brands. There's a KFC on the side and it says unbox ultra rare frozen moments. I'm totally not going to get excited about that because you know, history has taught me that uh, frozen moments aren't always in my future. However, since this whole capsule is devoted to just KFC, I'm thinking my chances are pretty good. I got a silver wrapped one. Does that mean this one is special? Here's the collector's guide showing the items and their availability. And I see that there are no names listed underneath, so uh, we might have a problem with that. Do I know the names of KFC meals? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I like them veggies. This is from our DIY spring rolls, in case you were wondering. But I'm a fan of minis, so that's why we're here today. Categories are legendary, looks like they're gold. Then we have iconic. One has real chicken scent. Okay, looks like we have some frozen moments, luxury, ultra rare, rare, and common. Something tells me this might be the chicken scent. I am having some gross mini brands flashbacks right now. Okay, but you know what, we're gonna do this. Let's just do it. And we're opening it. And it is it. This is the iconic mini. And I'm guessing this is like two pieces of fried chicken with bacon and cheese. There's a wrapper underneath the paper. We can see that it is white plastic. Does it have a smell? Yes. Yes, it does. It's kind of giving old potato chips to me. It's nowhere near as strong as the gross mini brands, but there's definitely a smell. Here's the next one. The print on the bag is red and it does say KFC. Let's go ahead and open it. And we have an ultra rare mini. It looks like mac and cheese with chicken, fried chicken nuggets, I'm guessing, and cheese. The bowl is red and white, but is it doll sized? Yes, yes it is. The next one is a bowl of coleslaw. There's a printed image on top, but it does have texture. Opening another mini, we get some kind of chicken wrap. It looks like there might be pickles in there and it has a sticker wrapper. I think this one might be a bucket. Let's see. It is a bucket of fried chicken. They're all kind of just lumped in there together, creating a solid mass. Not too bad for our first run, but we totally need to add a little KFC to our backdrop. Did I just make a new printable? Yes, I did. And I might have taken a few artistic liberties. In our mini world, KFC stands for Kentucky Fried Chickpeas. Why the camel? My graphic artist has gone off to college, so I'm limited on art. And I thought his little fuzzy face was super cute. So we're taking another Barbie coffee shop and moving in next door. And it looks like we have a food court in the making. We just have to move this sign over. Was this the plan all along? Yes, that's why the sign was temporary. Our trifold back wall gives us enough space to put two Barbie coffee shops side by side. And since nothing is glued down, we can always just switch them out if we want to change stores or restaurants. On the back of the playset, there is more shelving for us to store our minis when not in use. Now we just need to give this Barbie playset a little makeover for our Kentucky Fried Chickpeas. First, what to do with this? 
I thought about removing it. It looks like we can just push those little brackets to take it off of the counter. But then we have a hole that we can cover to make the countertop flat. We can probably put a mini brand soda machine on top or we can cut out a printable and glue it on top to turn it into a soda machine. Let's use poster board and a pen to make easy tile. Let's remove the paperboard insert that comes with the playset, trace it onto our tile to make a new insert, add wood contact paper, and they're starting to look pretty uniform. For the turquoise Barbie under the menu, maybe we can cover it with some leftover tile or silver contact paper. The included menu can totally work with our Cinnabon-inspired look. However, for our Kentucky Fried Chickpeas, I made a printable that we can cut out, glue onto a few layers of poster board, cut out a few pictures from the collector's guide, and glue them in the open spaces to make the menu. On second thought, let's change the printable. I added extra poster board around the edge because it was a little too small, but now I can just place it right on top I use a small strip of silver contact paper to cover the edge, so it looks a little cleaner on the side. I really like the idea of completely covering the menu, so I added one to our cinnamon roll printable that we can customize with a few pictures from the collector's guide. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's cut out our Kentucky Fried Chickpeas sign, glue foam board behind it, then use poster putty to attach it to the wall. I use scraps of foam board and contact paper to make a shelf to hold our minis. I place it behind the counter, cut out more printables, and add them to the Barbie accessories to finish customizing the Barbie playset. We can add other minis from mini brands like the ketchup, swap the water bottles so they match, then begin adding mini brands that totally fit in the Barbie display. And now we have the making of a new food court using Barbie play sets. If you wanna craft your own, we have a video for that too. There are 20 KFC mini brands in this series. So I'm hoping that our chances of getting all of them are pretty good. Since we know each capsule only has KFC minis, Whereas with foodie mini brands, we get lots of different restaurants, but we have a store to stock, so let's get to it. This one came with instructions. I think it's a pot pie and the top can come off. It looks like someone has broken the crust and there's a small piece that we can use to make it appear whole again. That's kind of cool. We have a bucket of chicken that's a different color than the first one. We have a drink. Does it fit under our soda machine? It does. And this is another bucket with a top. And here we have, ooh, a bag within a bag. Oh, there's a sandwich inside. And look at that. They made it to come out. Thank you. Thank you for this. I'm checking minis off the collector's guide. And so far, we don't have any doubles. Hopefully, we get the whole collection today. However, I'm okay with not getting the gold ones. And this is the little burrito thing or wrap and our first double. But this is totally one of those times where doubles are okay. I know it might be a little strange to hear me say that, but we're stocking a store. And that's another double. And so is this one. Okay, this one's new. I think it's mashed potatoes and gravy. And we have another smelly mini. I do have feelings about scented minis. I can tell it's the same one. So we're just gonna pretend that I opened it. And here it is. Yo, my fingers smell like chicken. So far, we found all the rare minis. We need the biscuits. I think this is our fourth capsule. What? Why are there so many of these? We're just gonna move on. And we have another wrap and a bucket of what I'm referring to as chickenless chicken. 
And this is another bowl of coleslaw. And our last one is macaroni and cheese with chicken nuggets, I think. So that whole capsule was a bunch of doubles, which we are not complaining about, or at least trying. But seriously, I can do without the smelly minis. And I really want those biscuits. That is another chicken pot pie. And we have a bucket, another drink, another sandwich, and more buckets of chicken. Where are my biscuits? Can I get some biscuits? Well, now that you mention it, we made Chick-fil-A minis a while back using cornstarch dough in this video. Wow, that was nine years ago? Well, the minis are still holding up. We also made fried chicken strips. When compared to the KFC mini brands, I don't think we did too bad on the texture. We made a chicken biscuit sandwich and a few chicken nuggets. We also have one that looks like the dolls took a bite. If your dolls prefer a hot glue diet, we have a video for that too, where we use hot glue and paint to make chicken. Here it is next to the KFC mini brands for a little comparison. We have DIYs for drinks, frozen moment minis, wraps and burritos, and more. It's good to have options. And I wonder if we can just make our own fluffy biscuits using scraps of craft foam. I found this strip of white craft foam. Let's cut three small squares. I use my hot glue gun to add a really thin layer of glue and quickly glue the layers together. I really want that glue to be as thin as possible. Then cut it into a rounded shape. Totally doesn't have to be perfect. Then I use my scissors and just kind of snip away at it. We're adding a little texture, you know, just kind of roughen it up a little on the edges. Not too bad. Let's add some texture to the top. And all I'm doing is just really pushing in on the foam, you know, pinching it, trying to make it look a little lumpy, but like a softer texture. I gently cut away to round the edges at the top. I lightly dry brush it with a soft yellow, well, yellowish brown. Then I just add a tiny touch of a honey brown so it looks nice and golden. Give it a few minutes to dry and oh my goodness, they look pretty good. You know, considering they're just made out of craft foam. These are the easiest biscuits I have ever made and they're squishy. We are getting a lot of texture here. Drying time was almost nothing because we dry brushed on the paint. If you don't want all the layers, you can go with a thicker craft foam, but I'm okay with the layers because they look like, you know, flaky biscuits that can pull apart. They're light and fluffy. And did I mention they're squishy? I know hot glue is usually my go-to for doll food, but let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more squishy doll food. I'm kind of excited about this and I am totally okay with the fact that we didn't find any biscuits today because we can always make our own. In the comments, one of you wanted to know if these mini brands would work with 112 scale dolls. So those are what, like six inch dolls? Here's a Lori doll. It's like an American Girl mini. I think it could totally work with some of the food items. Drinks might appear a little large. Disney Store Comfy Princesses are about the same height, but with their proportions, drinks are very large. Some of the food items might seem supersized, but some of the stuff in bowls looks like it works. I think they work with Monster High, Rainbow High, Bratz, although my Bratz are on Made to Move Barbie bodies, and of course, Barbie. And no, you don't have to buy a billion Barbie coffee shops to make stores for your mini brands. Most of our changes aren't permanent. We attached our sign with poster putty, so all you have to do is switch out the printables and you have a new restaurant. Well, except for that. 
that's kind of permanent now. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at new KFC mini brands, set up a Barbie food court by customizing play sets, and crafted our own minis. Since we couldn't find those biscuits, well, we do have one more capsule. Okay, 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 I know it's time to go, but we're gonna try one last time. All we want is the biscuits. Are these biscuits? No, it's a pot pie. And this is another bucket. Oh, but that's a different one. Looks like drumsticks on one side and possibly chicken strips on the other. Sorry, I don't know KFC. But that one wasn't a double, so I'm feeling hopeful. Ah, it's a double of mashed potatoes. Just two more chances. Ah, uh, coleslaw. This is my last one. And we have another double. It's the macaroni and cheese. Well, it's a good thing we can make our own homemade biscuits. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. <laughs>